According to authoritative sources, starting from September 20 to September 30, within a mere 10 days, India made the strategic decision to launch nine anti-dumping investigations on Chinese products, encompassing categories such as chemical raw materials and industrial components. When a nation believes that products imported from another country are sold at prices lower than the domestic market, causing harm to its domestic industries, it may initiate anti-dumping investigations and implement punitive tariffs to safeguard its domestic interests. However, in practice, such measures can at times be prone to misuse, essentially manifesting as a form of implementing trade protectionism. Upon researching, it was discovered that from 1995 to 2023, a total of 1,614 anti-dumping cases were filed globally against China. The top three countries with the most cases were India, 298 cases, the United States, 189 cases, and the European Union, 155 cases. India has emerged as the country with the highest number of anti-dumping measures against Chinese products, partly due to the continuous expansion of the trade deficit between India and China. Earlier this year, India's Ministry of Commerce and Industry convened numerous meetings to address the India-China trade imbalance by collectively exploring ways to reduce imports from China. One of these measures includes intensifying anti-dumping investigations on Chinese products. Some analysts even suggest that the Modi government intends to proactively initiate an India-China trade war. This is primarily because certain segments of the Indian population harbor outdated notions, believing that trade imbalances imply that the deficit side is losing out. Furthermore, some individuals believe that by aligning with the United States in economic and strategic endeavors aimed at curbing China, India can achieve its goal of replacing China as the world's factory. India has always wanted to replace Chinese manufacturing. In 2020, the epidemic was broken out in China, and its industry was facing unprecedented challenges. India felt that this was an excellent opportunity to replace China, so it could not wait to launch a series of actions. They have ambitiously persuaded thousands of American companies to relocate their factories to India. However, two years later, China has become the only country with a trade surplus among the top 10 major industrial countries in the world. In contrast, India has a net outflow of foreign capital of more than 30 billion US dollars in one year, and they also broke up with Tesla. Musk would rather dissolve the team and pay huge tariffs than build a factory in India. Can India replace Chinese manufacturing in the future? Before we started today's video, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Okay, let's get started. In fact, at earlier times, India's industrial conditions were far better than China's. India gained independence from British colonization in 1947, two years before China. Moreover, after two wars, China's domestic economy has been stagnant, while India is different. They have hardly experienced major wars, so it is natural to inherit most of the industrial base left by the United Kingdom. At that time, India's industrial strength ranked first in Asia and sixth in the world. The symbols of the industrial base are transportation and steel. When India became independent, the domestic transportation network such as railways, highways, and ports was very developed. The total length of railways alone reached 54,366 kilometers. In contrast, the total length of China's railways is only about 26,000 kilometers, half that of India. As for steel production, India is 10 times more than China. In addition to industrial foundation, India has been treated much better than China in the process of development, such as the international environment. Compared with China, India's external environment is much better. Because it was a British colony, it is faster to integrate language and culture. The international community is also very tolerant and helpful to India. Even for a period of time, India is one of the ties to connect China and Europe. In addition, India's own conditions are also very advantageous. Open the map and you will see that India's land is deeply embedded in the sea, and their ports are very well located, in the middle of the industrial core of Asia and Europe, and close to the energy center of Africa, 
having advantages over any large industrial country in the world. But it seems that India has not made full use of its trump card. In 2021, India's power generation was only one-sixth of China's, automobile production and sales was one-seventh of China's, shipbuilding capacity was one-slash-100 of China's. The steel output that can best measure the level of manufacturing is only 118 million tons, which is one-tenth of China's. Almost all major industrial products, India is completely behind China. Many people are very curious, how did India ruin a good hand? Why can't foreign companies develop in India? There are many people who analyze this question, but most of them are introducing India's population contradictions, racial contradictions, or it is because the Chinese are too hardworking. In fact, these are all appearances. The United States also has racial conflicts. Why can they support the manufacturing industry? Europe also has a population problem, why is their manufacturing still better than India? And no matter how lazy India is, the workload is more than that of Western countries, right? Why didn't they support the entire country's industry like the Westerners did? So there must be a fundamental problem here. To understand it, we must start from the underlying logic and think about what is preventing India's industrialization. The reason for the conflict between Musk and India is that India wants to protect the domestic auto industry, and they have imposed particularly high tariffs on imported cars. Internally, they set various tariffs, and the taxes are different for different models. GM and Ford in the United States have gone bankrupt because of these policies. But after protecting it for so long, India's most popular car company is only ranked 17th in the world. Therefore, Musk firmly disagrees with building a factory in India, preferring to import from China rather than trying in India. In fact, in this regard, many Chinese companies have also made the same mistake. Take Xiaomi as an example. For the Indian market, Xiaomi made a lot of cheap models, and even went to India to build a factory. After a few years of hard work, they only made hundreds of thousands of profits. As a result, after an investigation in India, Xiaomi was not only fined hundreds of millions of yuan, but also deducted billions of assets. But China is not the worst. As early as before, there were many Western companies failing one by one. In the words of the netizens, it is, no problem for money to come in, but not a penny to go out. Indian industry seems to be full of advantages, but at the time of non-violent independence, the reform was doomed to be incomplete, resulting in complicated interests, and it was very difficult to reform again. This top-down restriction has prevented India's industry from breaking through the barrier, and even Indian talents can only choose to go abroad to make a living. According to the survey, about one-third of engineers in Silicon Valley are from India. It can be said that it is India's technological talents who support the various technology giants in Silicon Valley in the United States. This is the reason why India cannot catch up with China. As for the land use issue, China has carried out the most resolute and thorough land reform, which not only laid the foundation for state ownership of land, but also completely eliminated the landlord class and liberated the productive forces. As for the traffic problem, China has built the world's largest road and railway transportation network. The port will not only be unmanned, but also the world's leading intelligent port. When it comes to the business environment, China is constantly reforming and opening up, joining the WTO, and even in the face of the China collapse theory and middle class trap, it reforms and opens up the environment step by step. During that time, China was moving forward with severe pain. After the introduction of foreign capital, China not only did not collapse, but made great strides in industrialization, and also learned the most advanced supply chain management technology. In 2018, China provided a free market space for Tesla, not only sold 860,000 square meters of industrial land at a super low price of 10% of the market price, but also provided 4 billion yuan of low interest loans, and all approvals completed in a very short time. When the factory was built, even Musk was cheering for China. At that time, many people didn't quite understand it and thought that China had brought in a shark. In fact, behind Musk was the industrial expectation of the whole world. 
Many people were watching whether China's manufacturing industry would be replaced. The combination of China and Tesla has created an optimal template for the global manufacturing industry. With the introduction of Tesla, the big catfish, China's new energy vehicles immediately gained vitality. In short, in my opinion, the only possibility for India to surpass China is to learn from China and revolutionize itself. What do you think? It is important to note that despite the US-China trade war lasting for over five years, the trade volume between the two nations reached a record high of approximately $760 billion in 2022. In the current phase, it remains challenging to replace Chinese products. Indian products often struggle to match the quality, quantity, and variety required by downstream industries. Even if Chinese products face anti-dumping measures, they may still find their way into the Indian market. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas with other people. Please keep following our channel and like our videos. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.